All right, another insert time. Another gaming chunk insert. This one's for Altiplano, but it's the uh, Alpaca Organizer Revision 2, so it actually is supposed to hold the uh, the expansion. And the other good thing is, is it's got this section here where the pieces are actually pre-sorted for player count. So uh, if you know you're playing a four-player game, you just pull out so many pieces and you're good to go. And, and uh, so because I do have the expansion, I wanted to... I was going to buy in the original version, but then I saw this one coming out, so I gave it a try. So we've got six sheets here, and this one's stained, so it looks all nice and fancy. It's got all the uh, symbols there for, I guess, the victory points. Oh, victory points. And then all the resources. Continued. And then uh, a caddy for the cards and the tiles and everything. You see there... It's got all the different phases for the tiles, and your boats and houses and contracts and missions. And if you look over here, this one looks like it'll be fairly easy. Most of the construction is for that that resource tray. So, I say about 45 minutes. Um, past experience with the gaming trunk stuff is I will definitely be gluing this. Um, I find they don't necessarily have as tight a fit in the corners as a... Uh, as a Meeple Realty or a Broken Token, but that's fine. All right. So we're hoping to go from this to this. Oops, wrong side. Right there. So let's see what happens. Wish me luck. So real life gets in the way, and uh, I forgot to record the actual um, completion of this insert and how it fits in the box. So... Uh, better late than never, but here we go. So, um, it's, it is it is flush. I just had the lid um, ajar, so it's easy to kind of do this one-handed. But uh, aside from the that velvet bag kind of... The bag's getting a little poofy when you take the lid off. It does sit flush. So, I mean, all the documentation fits. Both manuals. Uh, you can actually fit both score sheets. Don't ask me why I still have both. It's I'm a pack rat. I don't like throwing anything out. So there's the traveler board. Here's all the locations. Which normally I wouldn't pull all this stuff out, but you want to see how it all fits. So the little player uh, aid extensions. Um, Sorry, the, not the player aid extensions, but the traveler extensions just fit off to the side beside the top layer of locations. Um, got the road here. So you've got the player storage areas, the player boards, which go alongside the player scoring aids. Uh, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Okay. And to me, this is, uh, like I know... I mean, I've been buying a lot of folded space inserts, and they're super awesome as far as uh, weight and ease of kind of use and putting them together. But I really love what they've done with this expand or organizer. So the bags come off, um, and here we go. Of course, I've got both alpacas because I don't throw anything out. So you've got your um, variable starting powers or professions. You've got all the extensions that fit there. You could probably fit another one. I don't think there's promos, but you could probably squeeze at least one or two more in there. Um, I do not have the Sunny Days promo, but these are all in uh, Mayday Standards. I didn't bother with Premium Sleeves simply because these cards, um, only the contracts and, oh, what's the other one, are, uh, are shuffled. The rest of them, you're allowed to freely look through them, so I didn't bother. Um, the expanded or extended um, or replacement carts are pretty awesome um, now gaming trunk you have to glue um, I've learned this now this is my second gaming trunk um, they fit well it's not that it's a poor fit it's just they're not kind of it's not like meeple realty or broken token where you need to sh you know you need to kind of not force but it, it fits in there and it stays in there you definitely definitely need to glue these bad boys okay so there we go I'm gonna turn this sideways here now so this is 
this is my favorite part about this insert. Sorry, other way around. So, um, the last card is up here and it holds the all the travel meeples and the cubes and everything there for the traveler. Okay. Uh, not the traveler meeples, but the uh, player meeples. Here you've got a coin bank and everything has a Everything has a lid on it, which I guess you could say is superfluous, but it's kind of nice, especially considering it doesn't have a traditional, um, you know, four or six full board to keep all the components in place. Uh, now with the Traveler expansion, you've got your own separate tray here. So let's say you decide not to use the Traveler, you can just leave this in the box. Um, it's very easy to incorporate and take it out. And then here you have all of your resources. Now, I should have taken this out in advance, but we'll take this out. The best part about this insert, in my opinion, is that as much fun as it is to have all of the components on each of the player player board, um, the game's locations, and to understand that, hey, this is what I need left for this location, what this one does is it, it segments it by player count. So, in theory, you can leave this, my sausage fingers, you can leave this at the side of the table never have to stock a location okay and you can literally play out of the insert and know exactly when a location is emptied so sorry for the shade there so in a two-player game you only need eight stone or or you don't need eight or here so once this is full this is done you know that that resource is uh is um ex you know ex distinguished ex expended whatever sorry guys I haven't had my coffee yet and gals and then here two, four two one so this lets you set up for a two three four five player game without physically taking these out of the tray so um you know if you can't be bothered to set it up and while it's fun it's a bit annoying uh it's really nice to know that this can be put to the side of the table and you're rocking and i mean it's the same thing here for the corn tokens yeah they're square but they have their own section here um and Again, unless you've got, you know, huge fingers. I've got a pretty big hand, but uh, I can get all this stuff pretty easily, okay? Even the first row, reaching back here. So, uh, my opinion, this is definitely the best part of the insert. Um, you know, it, everything fits nicely. Um, I'm hoping they don't come up with another expansion a la Orléans, but uh, to me it seems like Altaplano was well-received, but not quite as well-received as... Uh, as Orléans, or at least as popular it was, but I guess with the market being the way it is, so many games come out, why would you have so many more um, expansions? But again, you can fit uh, the Sunny Days promo in here if you want. There's enough space in here. Um, all this stuff comes out, and you can even do the same thing with the, the tiles, although with the marketplace, it's a little bit more um, uh, desirable to have them beside the cost, because unless you play this game a lot, you need to know, okay, well, this slot costs me plus two gold, or this cost costs, or coins, or, or something like that. But again, these these uh, these acrylic covers that they use, it's a it's a really nice touch. It, I've always been a kind of a fan of it. Um, I don't have a lot of their inserts, but it's kind of neat. And they're easy to use. Like, here I am. I'm doing this one-handed. Um it's awesome. Like it's it's really easy to get at, and uh, it's not a pain in the ass. The the Rising Sun acrylic covers were a little bit harder because it was a smaller container, but even then, it wasn't hard to manage. So, yeah. So I mean, uh, again, these guys are Canadian, so I think I'm promoting them probably a little bit more than I would other box insert uh, suppliers. But again, this is a uh, this is gaming trunk with the uh, alpaca boxes, and let me just grab the other thing here, which is now under all the manuals and the insert itself. So if you like Altaplano and uh, aren't a huge fan of the setup and teardown, this will definitely help. Um, if you have some of the earlier versions of Altaplano where you're, you know, you're gluing your cardboard carts um, or rubber banding, that's what I do with mine. I would rubber band around it to kind of keep them together. Um, I wouldn't say that the boxes are necessary. They're definitely neat. They're nifty. Um, the staining job is really cool. Um, and that's another reason I kind of like their inserts. I'm not going to be staining mine, so um, that's a nice touch also. But yeah, it's 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 nice. Like I, I wouldn't say this part is necessarily a must-have because the other the other ones will fit. Um, they're the same size; they're not changed. But you know, being able to fit all this in the box and being able to specifically use kind of this this um, 
resource bank is is really helpful so yeah so if you want to check it out go ahead i'm again gaming trunk the Altiplano organizer uh revision two uh if you get the first one it doesn't fit the traveler um i think the traveler is kind of neat it helps game move the, uh, get the game moving a little bit quicker with the events that kind of give everybody good stuff and more opportunities to get stuff um and then that central market board where you can uh trade quote unquote with the traveler uh, I mean, our games don't necessarily go long enough. We try and pick strategies where, okay, I notice that, you know, my wife is taking all of the glass or my son is taking all of the cotton. Maybe I'll go a different route. But, uh, you know, if there are some extent, not extensions, but there are some goals and contracts where you really need that one resource, well, this gives you that opportunity. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's definitely worthwhile too, but this insert is definitely top notch. So uh, thanks a lot for watching my review all. Okay, bye.